Five tips for beginners on how to get perfect purlers. Number one for buying beads is always check purler.com. It saves you a significant amount of money to buy around their sales that are typically around holidays. I have almost every color and it's around a hundred or so different colors so it adds up a lot really fast. But buying around a holiday or a sale you can save 30 or 40 percent which is massive. Tip B is finding your sprites. If you're just looking for generic sprites to make, Spriter's Resource or Pinterest are perfect. They have sprites for all kinds of things you can make not just Pokemon. Or you can just google the Pokemon or the character that you're looking for and put sprite at the end and you'll find something. Tip three is to always use the tape method. That's gonna save your projects going forward. It'll help make better projects. They'll be more consistent. It does take more time, but in the end it's worth it, in my opinion. Especially because some of my sprites you can completely bend in half and they won't actually break apart. You can't do that if you don't use the tape method and melt really well. Tip four is take your time melting. Seriously, you can have an amazing perler and completely screw it up in the melt. So whether you have a Cricut Easy Press or an iron, it doesn't matter. Just take your time and make sure you're looking at it as you're ironing it. Use your iron's edge to get the spots that don't quite melt right because for whatever reason sometimes they just don't melt evenly and it's not going to be your fault that's just how it is. And tip five is to have fun and don't worry about ruining your perler bead project. Trust me you're gonna ruin them it's gonna happen you could drop them you could accidentally drop tape on them you could bump a table it, it's gonna be brutal the first time it happens but don't worry you can always fix it so just take it as a learning experience from someone who has read crazy numbers of purlers. To help put it in perspective, I made a mini bead project of the Incredible Hulk and it was 35,000 beads. And I bumped the table. All of them came off the pegboard. I had to redo the entire thing. It took me a couple weeks to do it. And when I was done, my lovely cat jumped on the table and knocked it over again. I was heartbroken. Because at that point, I'd have to remake it twice, and that's 70,000 beads for one project, and it's insane. The mini beads are wild. You have to be very careful. But I remade the Hulk for the third time, and it stuck. Here's what it looks like. Follow my account, like my videos, and make sure you drop a comment if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to help someone make perler beads. And if you like any of the perlers I have made, check my store.